And hi folks, um, back today with another short pickups video. Now, any of you out there who collect will know what I'm talking about when I say that uh, us collectors can be uh, very fickle. Um, you know, we get uh, fixated on one thing and then something else comes along and we, we tend to focus on that. So it is with me. Um, you know, a while back I went to the... Um, the North East Gaming Show, and uh, since then I've been very much focused on uh, on, on retro gaming, which uh, I've done for a while. Um, and while I was out and about um, a couple of days ago, I decided to beef up my PS2 collection, um, which I haven't paid much attention to for quite some time now. Now, with PS2, I... I collect only car racing games, um, shoot 'em ups, shmups, and uh, in some cases, um, coin up conversions, you know, Sega stuff and Midway stuff and stuff like that. Um, and that, that, that's exactly what I did uh, when I was knocking about a few shops plus Kex uh, recently. So I've, got, I've uh, sorted out the car games into alphabetical, uh, so I'll just show you what I picked up. Um, I mean, now's a good time to to collect PlayStation 2 because the prices are very, very reasonable, uh, you know, compared with a lot of other retro consoles. I think it's fair to call the PS2 retro, um, you know, whereas, you know, stuff like Sega Saturn PC Engine is certain retro the ps2 is kind of thought to be marginal retro so yeah i uh, i consider it a retro console anyway um so yeah um, i mean i picked up some stuff dirt cheap which i will now show you um right now as i say i concentrated mainly on on um races right now that's um what i picked up drone races um a few screenshots now. Now, just a little tip for any of you out there who want to get who are into PS2 or want to get into it. Um, you want to make sure that the the booklet is there, is here, because all all PS2 games came with a little booklet. Unlike these days, you know, you buy a Switch game and you just get the case. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's important if you if you want to seriously collect to to, to have the uh, to have the booklet in, and also you know have a look at the um, look at the state of the disc because I, you know I've I have actually had some in pretty appalling condition that I just haven't uh, haven't kept kept. I mean there's a few scratches on that one, but um, nothing that you wouldn't expect on a CD or a DVD as these were on at the time. So uh, yeah, that was the first one. Um, Rome races. Now, this one was a little bit unfortunate. I have the first Juice game. Um, this is uh, obviously the second. Uh, as you can see, it's a Keck special. I've left the stickers on this on purpose because uh, I'll be taking it back. Got the receipt in there. Um, because if you if you have a look at the disc, it's um, it's just so it's the first game and it's a platinum edition of the first game so they've given me the wrong they've given me the wrong disc there so I should be taking that back and hopefully get the um, the proper game if not well I'll get me two pound fifty back not a fortune but two fifty is two fifty so yeah that was just two or will be when I get the the proper disc so I've been a bit lazy I haven't de stickered these yet but yeah just to show you some idea of the prices um Get this horrible sort of uh, advert at the top there as well, but I'll take these off. Uh, yeah, Need for Speed Carbon. Oh, I've got a few of the Need for Speed games already, but I didn't have didn't have Carbon, so and I thought that was a reasonable price uh, for 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 Carbon because um, I know on PS3 it's quite expensive. Um, the screenshots from it. Not one of the best Need for Speed games, but certainly not one of the worst either. Um, 
so it's all it's all present and correct inside so yeah quite happy with that one although that was a little bit more expensive than the others racing games um then we had um off-road i think this is part of the um the ford racing series uh, i've got i've got yeah i've got ford racing two and three certainly for the ps2 um but uh, yeah that's the off-road one another two pound fifty um and as I say, once again, it's all present and correct. Well, they don't, don't expect to buy these second hand and expect to find the disc in mint condition because it will really happen. Uh, right, here's one you don't see around too often, the, the Paris Dakar Rally. Because <coughs> um, this has been done on PS3 and PS4. So it was a continuing series. Um, three quid I thought that was reasonable I got a small discount I bought a few off the same guy and um, I think that ended up probably costing me just over two quid so yeah can't complain uh, a few screenshots there it's bike because it's bikes and uh, cars that one but uh, certainly can be classified as a as a racing game again um, I like to see these booklets in. I mean, that's in absolutely mint condition. That one, so you know, it's nice to, to have that sort of quality when you when you buy retro games. You don't always get it. Um, right, this one is uh, Street Racing Syndicate. Um, and again, another game that cost me just over two quid, regardless of the sticker. Um, it's um yeah, it's one I'm really never really played when I you know was into PS2, but um so again all there um yeah the one you see around um all that often at that price anyway um I have Tucker Race Driver three and. Um, yeah, that's not bad at all for one pound fifty, is it? Um, of course, it's a rally game. Well, no, it's not a rally game. No, it's um, touring cars, isn't it? What I'm talking about. I'm thinking of it. This is like a direct descendant of the Colin McRae games, which were rally games. But uh, this is uh, this is touring cars. Um, the ultimate racing simulator it says so obviously that's not your average uh, ridge racer it's more of a sim but nevertheless quite a well thought of um, series and then yeah this one uh, you, you don't see around uh, all that often uh, totally immersion racing you know some of these racing games you see all over um, everywhere you go but um, yeah, that's one you don't um, you don't see at a decent price too often. And um, well, that's um, I presume that's um, some sort of touring car game as well. But um, yeah, I was quite happy to pick that up for a couple of quid. Uh, so that was the uh, that was the racing game. I actually bought I actually bought a about three or four more but um, in my stupidity I, uh, I, I was going off an old photograph I'd taken of my collection because my memory is not the greatest these days and um, I, I'd, I'd added some stuff to the collection since that picture so I ended up picking up a couple that I already had but um, some of them were in better condition so you know I thought well for a couple of quid each I'm not going to grumble too much Right, um, the only the only shooter I bought, um, I suppose you could call it a shmup really, it's not a shmup in the, given uh, the usual sense of the word, but um, Space Invaders Anniversary, um, a few, a few different, I think the original Space Invaders is probably there, but um, there's a few variations on it, um, it says free keyring inside, but I didn't get it, so 
we'll just have to uh, we we'll just have to swallow that one because uh, it was only a couple of quid. Um, and to say it's all it's all there. Right, and then we moved on to uh, I bought three um, arcade conversion-y types of, uh, of games. Um, that's the midway. I think I might have um, I bought this before the other lot. I think I might have shown it to you in the last pickups, but I thought I'd add it anyway because I've got the second one. Um, Midway Arcade Treasures. Um, there's a few, sh there's a few shooters on here. Defender, Defender Two, Sinistar, um, Robotron's kind of a, a, a shmup. It's a, uh, it's, it's a ground-based shooter. And then there's you know there's a couple of nice racing games. Uh, Super Sprint, Spy Hunter. So yeah, I mean I thought that was worth picking up for. For three quid because you don't you don't see these around very often at that sort of price and then this is the one i picked up a couple of days ago that was a bit more expensive four quid but um it's the number two variety and um that one you don't see quite so often um and this particular one's got a couple of mortal combat games a gauntlet uh spy hunter 2 zybots that's a kind of a 3d shooter um, it's got Total Carnage, actually, that's a game that I like really much. It's a, it's a arena shooter, but it's really good. Um, and there's Xenophobe, that's a kind of a shooter. And Championship Sprint, that's, that's a, an arcade racing, well, it, yeah, it's, it is a racing game, but it's different. It's not a 3D racing game, it's an overhead. Um, and then Hard Driving, of course, that's another... Um, that's another arcade 3D game. And then finally, um, this was the dearest of a bunch, but I didn't mind paying it because there's some nice stuff on here. That's the uh, Sega Classics Collection. Now, as you can see, there's some, uh, you know, when they say classic, there are some classics on there. You've got your Outrun. Um, let's see, you've got Outrun, Space Harrier, uh, Fantasy Zone, Virtua Racing, Monaco GP. And a couple of other platformers and a puzzler, but um, yeah, I mean, I had to pick that one up because there's some really classy shoot um, racing games on there, particularly Outrun, and, and I like I like Virtue Racing as well. That's kind of a polygon um, racer from the nineties, early nineties, late eighties. Um, once again, as I say, all present and correct. Right, so that was uh, that was that little lot. Um, no doubt I'll be next time I'm out and about. I'll be looking for a few more. Uh, it's difficult difficult to get stuff for PS One these days. Um, tends to be a bit pricey. I've got quite a few racing games for it. Um, PS Three, I'm okay on. I've you know I used to collect PS Three uh, diligently, so I think I've got most of the racing games on there. So I'll probably be concentrating on the PS Two just for now. So, yeah, that was that one. Um, next time, I might give you a look at that, um, that super gun I mentioned in the, the last pickup video from the show. Um, I've, I've had a time to have a little bit of a bash with it, and I know how it's working now. Um, so, um, yeah, I might give you a look at that, because it's something that a lot of you might not be familiar with. So until then, um, thank you for watching. Uh, continue to subscribe and share if you can. That would be great. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye now.